Hello lovely YouTube family. Is coronavirus the only one? Certainly no. Not at all. Coronavirus is only the latest, most recent of a long series of pandemics and epidemics that have affected humanity throughout its history. Most of them have been far more lethal than today's COVID-19. Some of other pandemics have caused massive massacres and some of them continue to claim victims. It is therefore good to know that not only coronavirus exists, but that man has made and continues deal with others and even more dangerous viruses today. Curious to learn about the history of pandemics? Watch the whole video as we take a look at the deadly pandemics in the history of planet Earth. So, let's start with the plague. It dates back to the dawn of history and it is the deadliest pandemic that humanity has ever known. It is estimated that it has killed 200 million people. That's too much. The most famous is the Great Black Plague of the 14th century, which struck Europe as a whole, killing 60% of the population. From here, however, the rebirth and the foundations of the modern economy arose. Human capital became too expensive in terms of the labor force, and thus new production methods were invented, with the use of machines to assist and replace the man. You must know that the plague still exists in some areas of Africa, Asia and Central Southern America. Smallpox. Smallpox is lethal in 30% of cases and leaves permanent traces in those who manage to survive. This disease, which almost totally killed the Native American populations who came into contact with the immigrants. Then, a vaccine was discovered in 1796 by Edward Jenner, by the fact that cattle breeders did not fall ill with smallpox. Vaccinations applied on a large scale have led to the complete eradication of the disease, to its almost complete disappearance in the world. The last recorded case is from 1977, but the health authorities keep their observance high in case of virus recovery. Measles. Despite the vaccinations available for over 50 years, measles remains one of the main causes of death for young children. More than 130,000 die per year, especially in areas of the Third World, such as Congo, Ethiopia, India, Nigeria and Pakistan. There is still a worldwide alarm and among the vaccinable diseases, it is the one that still causes the greatest number of deaths. AIDS. The HIV virus, which causes immunodeficiency, is a retrovirus, which affects the infected cell in a different way from that of traditional viruses. It settles in the DNA and from there begins to replicate. Its target is the immune system cells, which weaken. So due to infected cells, the risk of infections with other viruses or bacteria, or tumors, increases enormously. The disease continues to reap victims. In 2018 there were 770,000 cases. They were more than double in 2004. In 2018, which is the latest updated official data, there were 1.7 million new diagnoses. It is estimated that nearly 40 million people worldwide live with HIV infection, especially in sub-Saharan African countries, where, according to the WHO, almost 5 out of 100 people are HIV positive. Ebola. The Ebola virus is recent. Just six years ago, in 2014, it exploded in West Africa, causing a deadly fever that killed more than three quarters of the infected people. Despite the danger, the death toll is below 2,000 people. This is because the virus has such a fast action that it kills most guests before they can infect others. Furthermore, in Africa, the affected populations live mainly in villages, not in large cities, that's why Ebola has not spread much, with the fact that the patient is unable to move to larger cities. But the disease remains very dangerous and many things remain difficult to explain. There is still no proven treatment. We only know that it is transmitted through contact with blood, secretions, organs or other bodily fluids from animals or other infected people. WHO considers it the most complex pandemic in the history of viruses. The SARS. SARS, an acronym for Acute Severe Respiratory Syndrome, is an unusual form of pneumonia and it's very infectious. It appeared in China in 2003 and began to claim victims. 
although less than is thought. 770 people. And from that moment it declined, but not completely disappeared. It is associated with COVID-19, both for the family of origin of the viral strain and both belong to the coronavirus. Simply speaking, both SARS and COVID-19 are the family of coronaviruses. However, according to the WHO, COVID-19 is not as fatal as other coronaviruses such as SARS and MERS. In COVID-19 over 80% of patients have a moderate form and recover and only in about 2.5% are fatal, while for SARS the lethality rate is at least 9%. What about the new coronavirus COVID-19? After this long review of past pandemics, it seems appropriate to mention the current one. The coronavirus, which has been classified as a pandemic by the WHO, remains with a very high alarm and emergency level. If compared to other viral diseases, we have seen that SARS also belongs to the coronavirus strain, but what makes the difference are the transformations of the virus, which makes it extremely more infectious than SARS and. On the other hand, this new coronavirus is less lethal than SARS. Other viruses can spread in the air and stay aloft for a longer period of time in small droplet nuclei. For this current 2019 coronavirus, we're not yet sure whether it is droplet or airborne transmission. Among all explained pandemics, this novel coronavirus has affected the whole world a lot. I mean whether we talk about stock markets, businesses or daily lives. Everything is disrupted by this deadly virus. Ending. All we can do now is to prevent ourselves from getting the viruses. At least prevention is in our hands. We hope for the best. We suggest you to stay home and stay strong. Help your neighbors and poor people in this calamity. Thanks a lot for watching this video. We hope that you learned something new from this video. Please leave a like and subscribe to our channel as more and more videos are about to come soon. I hope to see you in next video.